For this video, I am going to teach you how to use Hubstaff as an employee. So the first thing that you need to do is to accept the invite of your employer to join Hubstaff. So as you can see here on my screen, I have set up a temporary email so then I can show you what the invite message or email will look like on your email. So once you have opened the email, then an accept invite will or accept invite button will show up on the center part of your email. So click onto it. And if you haven't created an account yet for Hubstaff, you can just continue or go through the process of setting up your account. You just need to fill in all of your information, your email, set up a password password and again just input all of your information so once you have gone through all the process and the steps then you should be able to successfully sign up and create an account in Hubstaff. So once you have logged in, what you need to do first is to go to the dashboard or you'll land first on the dashboard in Hubstaff. So th this is what it should look like. So on the section right here, you'll be able to see different reports or actions. So you have your weekly activity, work this week, and so on. So on the section right here, you'll be able to see me and all option. So if you want to see your progress, then click on to the me section right here and then you'll be able to see your progress. If you're working on a current project, you have here your project or your timesheets. So you also have your rates right here reflected. So that's that. Now once you are added for a project here in Hubstaff by your employer, then you should be able to see that on your project manager. So you can go to the project management, just locate that on the left side bar of your screen and you see all of your projects right here. So they, they can add youth for a specific project and then that will reflect on your time tracker. So if you want now to start time tracking your project or your work, what you need to do is to download Hubstaff as an app in your device. So in the process of setting up your account, you'll be able to see the steps right here on the upper part of your screen. So you have create project, track time, and, and so on. So then once you click into this track time right here, then you'll be able to access this download prompt right here. So you can just click this download an app. And as you can see, it is available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Chromebook. And as a browser app, it is available for Chrome and for mobile apps. It is available for both iOS and Android devices. So once you have successfully downloaded your or downloaded tab stuff into your device, then you need to make sure that you are going to sign in with the same account that you are added to as an employee. So for example, right here, I'm going to open Hub Stuff. And if you have current projects on your Hub Stuff that you can see on your website, then that will also reflect on your time tracker. So as you can see right here, this is my time tracker. Now to start time tracking for that specific project, click in onto that project and hit this play button situated on the center part of the time tracking. So once you click on it, that will automatically start the time tracking now if you don't know yet Hubstaff has this feature that allow employee or allows employers to see the progress or the activities of their employee by taking screenshots so if you don't know that once you have click this play button or st start that time tracker then Hubstaff will take screenshots of your computer monitor so just take note of that and also on the section right here under the activity You'll see that this not only screenshot that that have stuff are taking, but also they are monitoring the apps and the URLs you are accessing while doing your work, or at least while the time tracker has started. So again, just take note of that. Now, if you want to start a project of your own, go to the project management section again. Just locate that on the left side bar of your screen, and then in here you'll locate the add project button situated on the upper right part of your screen click into it and this is where you can type in your project name the members if you want to add members budget and limits and teams so that's that now if you want to access more of your reports go to the report section right here and then you'll be able to access different information for your working activity so you have time and activity amounts owed the daily totals and so on and by the way, on the dashboard, so let us go back to the dashboard 
section. So here you have or you'll be able to see different widgets. So if you wanted to edit the widgets right here, click this Manage Widgets situated on the upper right part of your screen and you'll have this drop down menu. So as you can see, you have different sections or different types of widgets. So you have extra large widgets. So for the large widgets, it has enabled the map section so if you don't want to do that just uncheck that section so i'm just going to enable that again by clicking onto it so you can basically do the same for all of the types of widgets right here so you can just personalize that based on your preference additionally if you want to use integrations here in hub staff you can do that by going into the settings right here under settings you have integrations so once you have click on it then you have an option to add different website or apps that you want so you have asana you have github and more so just set up your integrations on this section right here and if you want to go to the billing go to the billing section under the settings also so you have general also and features under settings so again just explore with the features and tools of hub stuff and then i assure you that it will be worth it and just basically take advantage of what hub stuff offers you so before we end, I have some tips that I have for you. So just make sure first that you check your activity levels to ensure that you are staying productive and making the most out of your time. And if you notice any discrepancies in your logged hours or have issues with the software, just communicate it properly with your manager and make it a habit to start and stop the timer accurately to ensure your timesheets are precise. And remember to log breaks to get a clear picture of your work patterns and maintain in a healthy work-life balance and so that's it for this video and i hope this helped you and if it did please make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell button thank you so much for watching and have a great day